What was your reaction when you found out you would be debuting for the Hockey Roos? Um, it was kind of excitement, I suppose. It was just, I don't know, surreal, just unbelievable, I suppose. And how did you first find out? Was it via email, over the phone, or who let you know? Uh, it was via email. Um, I got back Sunday night late. Uh, from the airport and then um, I was asleep Monday morning I got a phone call from Des and he was saying oh have you checked your emails have you checked your emails no I hadn't so I had to try and find some kind of internet access so I could find out and then yeah that's how I found out. So Jordan you debuted for the Scorchers last year and this year you've been offered an AIS scholarship and selected in the Australia A and Australian junior teams how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I think debuting for the Sport Scorchers last year was a big experience. It was a big step up from under 18s and it came a bit of a shock, but I think it helped me going over to Perth and definitely helped in the selection and the AIS and the squads. So, yeah. And how did you feel at the national training camp over in Perth? Were you confident amongst all the best players in the country? Did you think that you'd made a good impression on the selectors following the camp? Um, I think at the start my confidence was a bit down. But um, training with the girls and it was, it was a real team environment over there. So getting to know the girls and your confidence build from that. So I think it was good. Yeah. And what was the most exciting thing that came out of the camp for you? Was it being selected as among, amongst the 30 AS scholarship holders? Um, yeah, I think that was the most exciting slash scary part. Having to move over there when I'm only 17, I'm a bit <laughs> scared. But no, it was definitely, it was definitely exciting. And so you weren't originally selected to attend the training camp, but you came out as one of the 30 players with an AIS scholarship. So is that inspiring knowing that the national selectors have a huge amount of confidence in you? Absolutely, yeah, that's right. Um, well, I went over in like Perth thinking I was just going to be tra um, training with the Waste girls, with the WA girls, but you know there was injuries and stuff in the team, so I just got to play and got to trial, I suppose. Yeah. So you've now selected the AIS scholarship, so you'll be relocating to Perth. Does that involve a bit of readjustment? Absolutely. <laughs> Got to readjust my whole life. So it is very, very exciting, but I suppose, you know, that's that's what you've got to do to, if you want to succeed in hockey. Sure. We've recently had Madonna Blythe, who of course is the captain of the Scorchers and the Hockey Roos, out to the State Hockey Centre, who's named you as one of the most promising Hockey Roos players of the future. What do you find most um, motivating in your hockey? Is it support from coaches and teammates or personal goals? Um, oh, I think it's a bit of everything. Like, I think it's support from your teammates and wanting to achieve the best to help the team out and just per like motivation from your within, just wanting to do your best and just the fun of it all.